morning and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord I am so glad to be with you for a few minutes meditating on God's word and listening to God's word for us today Today's meditation is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 1 to 8 Because our time is limited I am not reading but please read this passage after this meditation Jeremiah was called appointed directed and empowered and made aware of his purpose by God to be a prophet Now a prophet is someone who stands before the people on behalf of God as a spokesperson to communicate whatever God wants to speak to his people and so he was a spokesman for God Jeremiah ministered during and the last 40 years of Judah as history including the time before and after Jerusalem's fall and destruction and the sending of God's people into exile into Babylon During most of that time the nation was rebelling against God and uh, relying on political alliance with other nations for security and the protection from its enemies Jeremiah urged the people to repent and to return and to turn from their wicked ways and renew their devotion to God Jehovah God but the people did not give heed to his exhortation and his message the call of God kept coming through his voice again and again but the people kept on rejecting God's voice and they failed to return to God he continued to give warnings of God's judgment and punishment but the people continued to reject God's prophet and his God-given message until they were taken into Babylon as captives. Jeremiah the prophet and his call. We can learn a few lessons from his life and from God's call in his life. Before Jeremiah was born, God had already determined that he would be a prophet. Just as God had a plan, for Jeremiah's life he also has a specific plan for everyone who follow him in every person's life living on planet earth which includes you and me there is not a single person for whom god does not have a plan but many never bother to discover that what what that plan is and thus lose out in life God's goal is for humanity to live according to his plans thus allowing him to fulfill his purposes and fulfill his plans through us you know God almighty He wants to fulfill his plan and purposes through you and for me. In other words, we are going to be in his hand, be used by God. We who are unworthy and undeserving is considered by God because of our trust and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, God's son, to make us his ambassadors. Jeremiah was a youth when God revealed his plan of making him aware of his life's mission. He was to deliver a difficult message to the people. 
and a difficult message for God, the people must know it through Jeremiah. At first, Jeremiah experienced great anxiety and fear at the overwhelming responsibility of delivering God's word to the leaders of Judah. God responded to Jeremiah's concerns by promising that he would be with him and to empower him for his God-given purpose. No matter what task God assigns us in life, he promises to be with us, with you and with me. Always and help us accomplish it if we remain faithful and strong in our commitment and devotion to him who has called us. And another lesson is, do not look at what you do not have and what you are not. And judge yourself on the basis of what you have uh, not and what you are not. You don't judge yourself. And uh, another thing to remember is, you must remember that you are never too young or too old to be used by this almighty God. The examples we have in the Bible is Samuel and Moses. Samuel was just a boy in God's house when he was called. And Moses was 80 years old. For God, age is no barrier. David was only a teenager when the anointing came upon him to accomplish God's plans and purpose in his life. And remember, and uh, I encourage you to take note of the following things that I am going to mention to you. It is God who formed you in your mother's womb. That is the first thing. You remember that. If God himself formed you in your mother's womb, God does not do anything without a purpose. And therefore, that thought must inspire you to seek God, to discover God's purpose for your life. And another thing you must remember, God knew even before he formed you. He knew, he knew you. These are amazing thoughts, amazing revelation. Before you were even were formed in your mother's womb, God knew you. And he set a plan and purpose for your life when you come. And another thing to remember is, he has set you apart or sanctified you before you are born. Amazing, isn't it? Remember all that. You were in God's heart even before you were formed in your mother's womb. And once you are formed in your mother's womb, He has already consecrated you and sanctified you and set you apart to be His ambassador. And therefore, before your birth, he has appointed you to be a prophet. That is in Jeremiah's case. But in your case, it could be a prophet. Or you, God has a plan for you to be an apostle. Meaning, you go to places and areas where the gospel has not reached yet. And you declare the wonderful message of the gospel of Jesus Christ and people come to the Lord and the church is established where Christ was not known. That is an apostle. And then you disciples them and you train them and uh, you appoint them and you begin 
your church planting ministry or it may be an evangelist or it may be a prophet or it may be a pastor's job or a teacher's job you know god has already planned and envisioned your life your ministries and your life's purpose only if we cling on to god and continue to seek him and lastly i want to say this this must excite you as for a jeremiah's were concerned whatever the god told jeremiah when he was complaining about how young he was and how he was not qualified and all your appointment letter was written in heaven before the earth was formed remember that and so if we seek god's will for our lives he is going to reveal to us what he has already planned for you and appointed you even before he laid the foundations for the earth what an amazing god we serve and what an amazing revelation we have from jeremiah's experience and my friend you are not left out see god and discover what god wants you to do and or it could be a professor job in a, in a college in a university or you want god wants you to be a scientist or oh, god wants to be a, a a a wonderful teacher or a businessman wherever you are remember a follower of jesus christ does not have two lives you are a spiritual life and then a secular life no whatever god wants you to do you do it all for his glory whether the service is in the church or in your secular offices you are spiritual you have only one life my friends you don't have a secular life and a spiritual life the only purpose is for you to live for his glory whatever you do whether you are a professor in a university or a lecturer in a college or 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 a, or, or a computer operator in an office or a, 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 a corporate world officer or a director or whatever you do or a big pastor or an evangelist or a bible teacher or a youth worker or a sunday school children's minister whatever you do whether in the secular or in the church you do it all for the glory of god and through that god's name is glorified God bless you as you find out and exercise your God-given gifts for his glory. He loves you and he will use you. I pray oh God that you will continue to bless those who have listened to this message and that your grace be granted to each one that they may be used of God, be used of you and glorify you whatever you they are doing. let your name be glorified thank you lord in jesus name amen this is a great day and have a wonderful day and have a great day